So we are going to link up with one of my friends at his job, a little event at JLC, if you guys know, the watch company. So going over there, today's fit. Going a little crazy, a little crazy on the fit. Vetmont oversized bomber, vintage Beaumont, the Carnin camo hoodie. Got the new Dior bag. I'll talk to you guys about this later. Some Zara pants, my runners. But I'm gonna go check out some watches, have a couple drinks, some food, and then we're gonna also just go stop by the Hermes store. They're doing the unveiling today for the new men's store. So we're gonna go check that out. They're like, huh? Popping? Oh, you know what I'm saying? Changed my fit already two times today, but both fits were actually fire, but I think I'm happier with this fit. So before we head out, I'm just gonna show you what I'm wearing. Acne double-breasted blazer that I showed you guys on a previous vlog. I'm wearing underneath this, this Dakarnan Balmain era, or Balmain Christophe Dakarnan era, long sleeve distressed shirt i love this it's like in a charcoal gray so i have that layered underneath the acne scoop neck so i really love how it kind of just shows a little bit of the tattoos and stuff Oops. the boy has on the balenciaga balenciense knee rip flare denim and then i have my old faithful pair of fan authentics so got them on the bottom on the feet so it's comfy going into the city i'm gonna go hang out link up with the boys I have a new bag that you guys saw briefly in a couple clips before I think that I included. My new Dior saddle bag, so we'll get into that at some point when I sit down. Probably have a coffee and I'll break down like just the new bag and see what a day takes us. So let's head out. That is today's fit behind my Celine boxes. You guys will see this. Scoot that over. Boom, bang, and we're gonna roll out. Definitely check me out at arrow.rosado29 for all your daily fit picks and reels from yours truly. So, welcome back, guys. Welcome back. I'm actually running some errands today. I want to go to the Diamond District because there's a ring that I want to have custom made for my birthday. It's going to be my 30th birthday. I'm going to switch this like this so you guys can actually see my face. I am going to go have a custom Signe ring made, hoping everything kind of goes how I want it to go. I kind of have all the little details and stuff for my ring that I want. I found a jeweler that I really like the way he designs and trust his work. So we're gonna go do that. But today's fit, I am wearing the Yeezy Gap Dove hoodie. Ye has been kind of a little all over the place in the media, but I still think that a lot of the pieces from the Gap Yeezy collection that was done with collaboration with Balenciaga was actually pretty sick and this was one of the pieces this was the oversized dove hoodie have that on but yeah i don't agree with what kanye has been doing in the media i think that there's ways to go about speaking your opinion and i just don't really feel like he's doing it at all in the right way but still think that a lot of the pieces are dope and i think that down the line they will be collectible 
collect his items and I think that it just did come out pretty sick very oversized and cropped um, but I think that especially like just for days when you want to run around the city and just be comfy and cozy but still look a little chic I do think that a lot of the pieces that were created hit those points so it has the Gap logo very, very faded out on the front. You could barely see it unless you're like under really, really good lighting. On the back, it has the Dove that you guys can see, but it's covered a little bit by my new bag, which is another thing we're going to get into. So this, if you guys have been following on Instagram, at era.rosada29 for everybody who hasn't been following, definitely go check your boy out. This is my new Dior saddlebag in the oblique print. This has been one of these pieces that I've wanted for a really, really long time. This is actually the maxi saddle bag, which is the biggest that they ever come. Some of the details I'll show you guys like this, and then I'll show you it a little bit more later. The whole bag is actually hand stitched with the Dior monogram. It's literally fully, fully stitched, the whole bag. It's huge. Like you see, the, like the hoodie is already oversized, but it covers like a good portion of my torso. It also has this little like side pocket that if I wanted I could put my camera I could put my phone or my wallet that has been a little purchase that I did for myself as of recently and I absolutely love it I just feel like the sizing of the bag is perfect and if it's everything that I need for the daily I've been running around everywhere with this bag it isn't leather but I just feel like the construction of the bag in general it being just this fully oblique stitch canvas it's just such an amazing piece and it's very well made and it's not like super bulky it's very slim and sleek to the body so i love it and it's just a different vibe from like my louis sling uh infinity leather pox that you guys have seen me wear and just like my backpacks i think it's just a cool bag also just the detail on the front this was actually done in collaboration with matthew williams that created Alix and is now at Givenchy. Him and uh, Kim Jones actually collaborated on the roller coaster belt buckle. I also think that this is just a really cool concept of, so I really think that this is a cool concept of the bag. It's just a really cool detail. The only thing that I do say is that this, since it's a matte finish, as you know, as you wear, wear and tear the bag, it's gonna naturally happen. This will get nicked up just because of the finish on it, but I think that it adds some character to the bag. It's naturally gonna happen, but that is just kind of what I'm wearing. I forgot to tell you guys what I'm wearing. Feet. Wearing the custom ADP vintage denim that I did. These are the gray pair with the paint splatters. And then I'm wearing my vintage 1940s engineer boots. So that's today's fit. I'm gonna go do these errands, go meet with the jeweler to get this ring situation figured out. And I'm gonna go head out to link up with the boys and maybe just hit Soho for a little bit. So let's get into it. I'm out in Soho now. I didn't really wanna put the guy's face on camera because I'm conducting business. I just felt like it was wrong and like not appropriate, but rings should be done in like 10 days, hopefully by my birthday. Excited for that, excited to share it with you guys and I'll show you guys all of the details of it and just like how I designed it and everything when it's completed. I'm gonna go link up with the boys in Soho right now, probably grab some lunch and then hit a couple of the shops, so let's get into it. All right guys, so I don't know if I'm gonna do any unboxings or just show any more content of anything that I picked up just because I know that I'm gonna, I'm planning out a video for my birthday. I'll show you guys October pickups and my favorite fall fashion that I've been using the most. And I have a, another whole video planned for that, but to show you a little bit more in depth detail of the Maxi Saddlebag by Dior that I recently picked up would be better to just kind of cap this video off. So again, a lot of the detailing throughout the bag if you guys are familiar, so this little pouch guy comes exclusively on the Maxi saddlebag. The perfect size for the iPhone. This is the biggest iPhone, so you guys can kind of see it for size reference. Most of the time I use this for like my wallet or for change. I just throw this in here and sometimes I'll put my phone if I really don't want to carry it. But for the most part, it's always on me. It does have substantial space and it's a good little pocket detail for when the bag is actually on. Another thing that I do really like about it is that it has not silver hardware, but it's like more of a gunmetal palladium 
hardware, so it's a little bit darker. The strap of the bag, it has Christian Dior. The buckle again, as I stated previously, is in collaboration with Matthew Williams, who does Alix and is the creative director of Givenchy. Saddle bag in general is just an iconic classic bag and Kim Jones just kind of revamped the bag. Getting into sizing, again, like you guys can see just how big this bag is and how much of my chest it covers up. But this has honestly been like the best bag that I've ever had. For this daily runs throughout the city, I think that it holds just more than enough that you need in the bag. Um, I think right now just I have a couple items because I was using a, I was using a Rick tote to kind of travel around like a lot of stuff to do pictures and stuff but just so you guys can see I carry the Rick shades which is pretty large and it still has tons of space also on the inside it has this concealed pocket so if you want to put your wallet in here probably a little bit safer or anything else that you feel is of like extreme value tuck it inside the bag keep some allergy medicine just in case you never know still have this paper from the Tom Sachs event the spaceship event me and the boys want to check this out. This was just like a paper showing like all of the prints and pieces that were for sale at the actual exhibit. I have a card from Maria Tash because I'm gonna. I'm planning on getting some jewelry, the nose ring from Maria Tash in the future. Two pairs of ear pods because you never know. Keep some cologne inside the bag just in case. I just want to show you guys how much actual spaces in the bag and even with all of this stuff that i already showed you i carry my camera that i'm recording off of this so that while i'm on the run if i have to film i can just break it out easily i'll carry like a spare t-shirt my like another bottle of cologne depending on which one like i carry this one sometimes i'm just gonna see that it's super big and just super convenient and then the other thing about the saddle bag that i find really unique is that you can wear it pretty much three ways you can hold it in your hand, just walk with it like that. Actually four ways. You could sling it over your shoulder or you could wear it from the front or from the back, which, and also just on either side of your body. So I think that that's a really unique aspect of the saddlebag and it just kind of has like this appeal to it when it's on. It just looks really, really cool, really chic. I was kind of shocked with myself that I went for the print, but I think that even though it is kind of loud, it is very abstract and unique in its own way. It's loud, but it's still pretty pretty subtle and pretty classic and iconic so there it is just so you guys can see all of the your print that is hand stitched throughout the bag and embroidered absolutely love it i'll put it on again so you guys can see and i think that it pairs up really well with a lot of my pieces Let's see I put it like that to the side like this just all the way like that so that is my Dior bag. Again, I think that I'm gonna just do a separate vlog for you guys for anything else that I've recently picked up that I've been using a lot in my wardrobe and just like another birthday vlog since my birthday is a little bit over a week away. I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here. I'm sorry for the delay in video, guys. It's just been very, very busy, but weekly vlogs are gonna get back on track, I promise. As always, if you're new to my channel, welcome again, my name is Ariel. I do men's luxury, fashion, and lifestyle content, and if you enjoy content like this, definitely crush the subscribe button below. Let me know what you guys think of the video, and let me know your thoughts on my new pickups. Let's chop it up in the comment section below, and if you aren't already following me on Instagram, definitely check me out over there for daily fit pics and reels. I like to just be on IG a little bit more during the week, just because I think that it's easier for me, it's on the go, it's faster. And then YouTube is more like my dedicated videos and my vlogging stuff. So it's better for you guys to sit and engage with this when you guys get home. And then IG throughout the day. So definitely check me out on there at Ariel.Rosado29. I'll see all of you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys.